Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Um, in the last part, we did a little bit of um, work here on the Camlands, um, and what we're going to be doing, in, in, and as you can see from us riding around in this chocobo here, um, and in we also did the Sphere Grid. In this part, we're going to continue doing some side stuff on the Camlands by talking to one of my oh, favorite characters you again. again. You're quite the notorious trader these days. <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't take what the Maester say too seriously. For summoners, destroying sin is everything. We are no tools of Yevon. Understand? You go, girl. Yes. So, are you up to the task? I do not know, but I will do my best. You've got spirit, but you'll need more to beat sin. An Aeon duel. Show me what you're made of. Let's go for it. Excellent. That's what we're here but for. Before we begin, I've just healed your Aeons for you. Let us begin. I'm trying to think who are we going to be fighting? Probably Ixion, I think. Is who we're going to have to fight because the last time we fought her was. She oh no, Shiva. Okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and either bring out Ixion or Bahamut. Probably Ixion. You know, I never get sick and tired of seeing that cutscene. Shiva's just such a cool, um. Um, Shiva's just such a cool, um, design in this game in general. So, who am I going to go for? Bahamut seems like a little bit overpowered, to be honest. Maybe I'll just go for, um, yeah, I'll go for Ixion, my fave. My unicorn horse buddy. This isn't the last we're going to see of an Aeon battle as well. We've got plenty more where this comes from. Trust me. But yeah, like, our the Camlands, it's kind of surprising, not surprising, but it's kind of unexpected how much side stuff there, there is to actually do here. All of a sudden, like you don't really think about it. Um, when, when you get here, you just see like this big open area. Select attributes, raise the attributes, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, well she's not doing that much damage to me. Negates all spell effects. So pretty much dispels. Ooh, so there's some nice rain going on in, outside my window right now. I've got that aesthetic rain effect, that rain on my window pane. Who do you think you are with your Blizzara? I could do Thundara on her and see how much that would do. Oh, that does even more. What white magic do I have? Oh, Null Shock, Null Tide? Don't know how useful that is. Null Shock, definitely not useful because I kind of like being able to absorb Thunder attacks when I need to. Um, and Null Tide, really how common are water attacks in this game? Not, not very. So I'm there now, I'm just gonna go ahead and use... Well, do you know what, I'm gonna like, wait it out a little bit. I'm going to do one Tundara on myself. Like, like a sensible person to heal me, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use Thor's hammer because what I don't want to happen is like, like the thing is using your overdrive kind of leaves you open for quite a lot of action afterwards, um, and I don't want that to happen. Like where while I'm sitting there not able to do anything, she just kind of builds up her own overdrive. And then uses diamond dust on me and takes me out. She's not dead yet? How much has she got in her? Surely she can't have that much left, surely? I mean, that was like 9,999 damage that I did to her. Oh, the Heavenly Strike, it's called. Not Diamond Dust in this game. No, Heavenly Strike is just one of her regular attacks. It, like, isn't it? 
Is she not like, will she not want to use an overdrive or something? Because Heavenly Strike is just her regular attack, like, like, Aero Spark. Um, like the way, like the way, like, each of them has, like, a secondary attack or whatever. Was that it, finally? No, it was a critical hit. Well, surely one more Taurus Hammer should be able to take her out. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cause that did 9999 damage the last time. But can someone explain to me what happened there? Like the way she used like Heavenly Strike but then all of a sudden her Overdrive was gone. Like I don't understand that. Why didn't she just use her Overdrive and destroy me? Is what I'm wondering. There we go, finally. Well battled, Belgamine, well battled. <laughs> Impressive, remarkable talent. Traitor or no, you may have what it takes to beat Sin. Take this, you have earned it. Oof, 30 power spheres. And Aeon so on. Thank you. I think you will do Is that the one that allows you to rename them? But I think if you ever feel like you want more training, seek the hidden temple of Remium. Okay. I will be waiting there. Farewell. Um now that you have the Aeon Soul. Oh you can raise their attributes. First select attributes. Okay. I'd completely forgotten about this. Attributes cannot be very shown in grey. Okay, so you can basically just bulk them up with power spheres or various items or whatever. Yeah, I'll raise magic by one. <laughs> Why not? Quite a heavy cost though, just for like... Just for like raising... A couple of attributes. So what we can do now that we've both battled Belgamine and also now that we have access to a chocobo, um, a chocobo, <laughs> like that video that, um, is this where I want to go? Is this the way over there? Oh, a chest. I didn't know about this. What is this like garbage over here? What the hell is that? I didn't even know about that. So there is like one other thing over there that that um, I could show you guys. But actually what I want to do first, I want to show off the Remium Temple or at least try getting there. Now I can't remember, now it's be, as I said it's been like a long, as I've said multiple way times through this LP. It's been a long time since I've done a lot of the stuff in this game, so like a lot of the... the end game stuff and things like that like I'm talking like maybe like seven years eight years <coughs> so um, be patient with the fact that um, I'm not really 100% sure on details a lot of the time um, for example here in the Remium temple no why can't I just take my chocobo with me oh well um, here in the Remium temple which is where we're going now. There's like this mini game where you go on a chocobo like down this big track or whatever. And it's quite an impressive looking place. I really love like the design of it. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the cloudy mirror or something to do with the celestial mirror or something like that. Because we'll be getting an item called the cloudy mirror. Which has to be like turned into the celestial mirror in order to be able to power up the celestial weapons or whatever. I'm gonna save here. I might as well after beating her. 
Okay, sorry, I was just kind of taking the time to double check what I actually have to do here. <coughs> and I was right. You do have to do this chocobo quest. We do have an Albert Primer here as well. Um, oh no, that's the sphere. The Albert Primer's over here. There we go. 24. And would you believe we actually only have like two more Albert Primers that we have to get in the entire game? But yeah, this um, chocobo quest that we have here where we've race this monkey are we not able to do it where's my chocobo <coughs> this forgotten temple to test each other's speed and skill you who are listening to this you have been accepted as a true rider see this is why you have to do that quest to actually get a chocobo to get over here and to be able to challenge the champion chocobo that stands near the sphere okay well I'll do that Waiting on the opposite side of the temple. Okay, perfect. Now I'm pretty sure what we have to do to w if we have to. Well, no, I'm not pretty sure. I actually know because I just looked it up real quickly to avoid looking like an ass or doing like I should have done that with the chocobo racing as well. Even though it was fun to show you guys what actually the the next couple of levels of that are like, even if I don't have to do them or I'm not planning on doing them. Um. It was still fun to show you off, but but like it, it's probably a good idea to um, to go ahead and 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 know what I'm doing before recording the videos. So I can't remember how to do this at all. Like I can't remember like what the the fastest the fastest route is or anything. I know we have to go down to the bottom, but I don't know like what the fastest route would be. You know that yellow route is looking pretty inviting right about now. Yeah, he's taking it. I, I think I'm actually going to do it. Because look, here we are, like right down in the middle. I win. <laughs> oh jeez, that was piss easy. If I'd known it was going to be that easy, I wouldn't have, like, bothered making such a big deal out of it. And I got the Cloudy Mirror. Okay, perfect. Now we actually have to take that to the Macalania Woods to be able to turn it into the Celestial Mirror, but that's already the, the first part um, of the quest done. Now what we got to do here, there, there's quite a bit of stuff to do here. I'm not sure I'm really ready to bother doing it yet. Um, no, what, what am I, can I decide what I'm doing? I'm not really sure I'm ready to bother doing it yet. <coughs> um, because I don't think there's really any point in doing it until I have unlocked the other two Aeons. Basically, if you go in there, and this is why I'm not doing it yet. If you go in there, Belgamine is in there again, and you can fight her another couple of times and that's basically part of getting both Yuna's Celestial Weapon which is possibly the only one I'll get and fully charge up in this LP um, as well as getting the Magi Sisters which I want to get as well but there are another two Aeons that I need to get before actually doing that being able to complete that so I might as well wait until then and then do it all at the same time so I got the Cloudy Mirror I showed you off Remium Temple anyway so I think I'm probably going to end off this video soon. We've been going for like, probably about like 20 minutes almost. <coughs> Come on, Chocobo, you can do it. And my voice is acting up. I need to drink something. <coughs> but yeah, one of the other things I want to show you guys off, and probably the last thing here in the Camlands, um, is over here. So I might as well show you guys now. Or I'll show you in like the next video actually most likely because like what the hell is this? Anyway, I'm going to say thanks a million for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'll see you next time when we look at this monstrosity here and hopefully my voice is like behaving itself because the mucus just isn't helping me out right now. So um, see you soon. Bye now.